there's the site of the ancient castle of Caracanes. That's where the waterfall is too that gives it its name. This is the road leading up to it. Up there on our left of that is Caracanes. This is the bridge here. And there's the stream. Up as far as that bush there. This is Caracanes left hand side of the road here. All Caracanes up there to the right. And there we see a fort in the fields. Probably an ancient settlement of bygone days. This piece on the both sides of the road is in Carrick Mass. Down there on the left, and up there. Right of that fence there. On the left is Carabat Moor, right is Carrick Mass. Goes up probably as high as that ditch up there. This wall here on the right of it is Carrick Mass. That piece up there is we're looking at now is Carabat Moor. See the boundary wall going across there, turning down then to the left. Left of that ditch there is Carrick Ness, right of it is Carabat Moor. And there we see the bridge up there. Try for the waterfall, and we, I hope that we can hear it from over here. Carrick and Ness contained 244 acres according to a Donovan survey of 1838. It was owned by Sir William Palmer. Tenants paid 20 shillings an acre and they leased it for three lives. The tenants grew crops of oats, flax and potatoes. The site of Carrick and Ness Castle is here. All that remains of it. It was said to have been built by the Burks. The Stratford survey of 1635 referred to it as Carrick and Asset, having a killer, a castle and a barn. Killer would mean the church of the field castle we know of, and the barn would be the plain, lee ground, dry pasture, or land, or riverside pasture, usually found uh, around the castle. This looks like a deer. Dan Farrell tells me there was 20 acres of it. Come to H.T. Knox, David Burke of Castlereagh was given the castle of Calcanaris and six quarters of land free. This was come to the indenture of composition of 1585. The castle was there before then, the McFadden family was in possession of it up until well in times around 1650. The rooms remain today, and uh, part of the barn, and, well the rooms are here anyway, the barn is around here, we don't see any of the walls that have disappeared. So back there behind you is the waterfall that gave the name to uh, Carrick and Ice. There's another sort of waterfall, but it's not a... It's conspicuous as it says that one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a good sound from that one, isn't there? Oh, there's a good sound on another one behind the people of Harris. That's a great sound from. And another one there below, outside my garden, that's a good sound. Yeah. There, look outside the cell, you see the track of the steps going out to it. Go for that step and look out over the way. To the there. mill? Yes. And look at this flag abroad. That proves Johnny Jordan's back the mill owner. Yeah. There's that the stuff in the shoes. Oh, yes. Yeah, it was there. How did he manage to break his back with it? He went out on a flood yeah. to, to let the water go yeah. and to, to take the flag. Yeah. And they were between the front and the water and all he wasn't able to manage it and injured the spine was back and he died from it. How long ago do you think was that? So that would have taken, about, taken place about 150 years ago. So the river was a lot bigger that time than it is then. Where's the water come from? I'm no other now. Jordan's Mill? Yes, Jordan's Mill. Tell me, was it corn or flax they were? Corn, I think it was. Corn Mill. Corn Mill. And he was doing some closure business too. Yeah. He, they came, I think, from from Belmore. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Or back that country. I think yeah. that's the way they came from. Yeah. This here is the uh, remains of the old McMahon house. Yes, that's the day. Yeah. How many of them were in it, do you think? Ah, oh, there was Martin. And there was Tony, and Pat, and Jimmy, 
And John. Yeah. Those four sons anyway. And the men that were in the police? There was a uh, Tony. And Jim. Yeah, and there I see. And there I see. You don't know where they worked, no? Oh, no, no, I know, I know. No, they didn't work around here like in Canada. Oh, no, they were, they were way up the, they were way up the Midlands themselves. Ah, yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. what you call below, Pat to McHale. We're stationed in the one place, so you could find out where that was. Yeah, yeah. Right. Hello, well. Yeah, can you go down in, in near it? Probably belong to the castle. Yeah, it's a First home of the, of the McManamans here. Not today. And that was the Jordans. Of the Jordans. Yes. And the second one there. And that was the McManamans. Yeah. And that was the hello McManamans too. Yeah. So the Jordan man was the man that owned the mill. Eh? Jordan man was the man that owned the mill. Yeah. The first one that was fired struck the corner. You're talking about cannonballs now. For yes, from yeah. the top of our cross was fired the French. Yeah. And the first one that was fired struck the corner and it, it broke it in two. Corner of one of these old houses up here? No, but the castle. Corner of the castle? Yes. And the second one stuck it in the centre and pushed it. Oh yeah, from that row? Yes. I haven't heard that tale, whether that tale is true or not now. Fourth. Turn to John. Farrell, Jack and Ace. And there are caves or tunnels here too and an entrance somewhere. Down here is the wall. More of the Bruins wall. Boundary wall between Cairn on the right and Cairnass here on the left. Goes away down there. Fort. There's an entrance here somewhere. The man of the Bruins wall. And she evicted commas. So this area up here is called Cashel. This is called Cashel. There's only the two the two families in it. Yeah. McManamans and McHale's. Yeah. That was all that was in it. Yeah. In Cashel. Yeah. Carcanasses from a strain they belong on the hollow way down there. That's right. To Bernhill Hill Mail. Yeah. So do they call this uh, I suppose they call it Cashel on account of the castle that was built? I here. believe that was there. Yeah. Yeah. Well it was known the French call told me on the lot of survey map he says it's known as Cashel, he says. Yeah. And at the time that uh, there came that they here after me coming here and to the castle they came. Yeah. Oh yeah. So would you call it castle now or are you in Carcanas? I'm in Carcanas now. Ah yeah. Yeah. Why yeah. the clergy and the state and all. That's <laughs> <laughs> I must be writing. Yeah, you must be right. Yeah. From the wall down there. From the there. wall there going over there, over between me and Kula Valley and going over the top of our crow and going down and coming across Johnny Bidmer's land below. And back between uh, at Attic Bays, between Attic Bays, Carrickanas and Malinek, going the back to my Mirren and Bern Hill Road. They called it Deer Park. Deer Park, Deer Park. Yeah. More of one that got it built in the bad times for a leaf. Oh, yeah, given employment to given the. employment to yeah. the poor. She was good, I believe, wasn't oh, she? Oh, she was, she was good. She was supposed to be good, but they said the husband was a bastard. Yeah, she came from. Um, where Sid Knox is living today, didn't yes, she? Yes, that's where she is. That's where she was married. The house was out in the front of where Sid Knox is today. Yeah. Well, was that the mound where the old cannons are in the front? Is that where the house was built? I cannot tell you nowhere. Yeah. I was never, never, yeah. never around about much yeah. around yeah. that yeah. old yeah. house at all. But I often heard that that wasn't, that that was the stables <laughs> where Knox is living now. Yeah. And that the big house was out in front on the rise. Yeah. Was it? Aye. Uh, who, who was, what was his name like? When you mean the last man was in it? Yeah, or, the, or as far as back as he can go. Well, the far back I go is Tom Ahead, I was supposed to be. Mm. Yeah. He was a brother of my grandfather. Yeah. And they owned a lot of land here, didn't they? Oh, they did. Did they own all Carrick and Asses? Well, they didn't put the own to good there. They owned where Jack Ahead's behind, you know. Yeah. And where Patrick Langan is. Yeah. That's the side they're all. Yeah. yeah. John O'Reilly's land. Yeah. You were, oh yes, your great grandfather. Yeah. So, uh, who was the last of them that was there? Uh, he'd be he now. Uh, yeah. Well, James, I was the last one that died on Parry and the mother sold her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, his brother, a brother of Jack's father. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. oh, Jack's one of them too. And the brother of father, Tom. 
de heren en dachtere heren. Ja. Als je ziet hem al missen. Ja. Want hij deed pas een jongs om hem. Ja. Verder Tom en Herrick hem te koen heel tijdje. Verder Tom en Herrick hem als paraspries te koen heel. En, en, en... Bout in maart. En hij deed in december. Hij was 15 jaar oud. Hij was ja. strang zacht. Ja. Oh ja, en, al die heren zijn wel dik strang. Maar die was hem wel. Die andere heer was een ijsien man. Ik doe ook eens wel wat hij dik strang was. This house that was down here. Did you ever hear the dancers around from Benin? Well, if I wouldn't be in the loft. That's not so long since the war talk. Yeah. Who was having them? Was it local Jim's people? Jim's there. Oh, was it? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hello. <laughs> was it? Hello there. How did he sell the loft to dancers? He did. He just said to Jimmy Henning. Jimmy Henning? Yeah. Of Kalala? Mm. Yeah, and he sold the streets too. What do you call them? They were Satan, Gavin, Gavin, Gavin. Oh, Bob and Kieran King Kong. Yeah. 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 And who knocked the, 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 there's not a trace of it down there now, sure. Oh, she's oh, no. Who leveled it out there? Jordi. Was it Lancome? Or was it? Was it Jordi? It was. Yeah. It could be, I couldn't tell you, you know, when you have them with children, that's a good for yeah. you. Who would it be, the 1950s? 1960, 1970, 80. It's enough for the first 33 years. Yeah. It's hair made it for me. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Yeah. He'd be a brother of Paddy's, wouldn't he? Yes, he'd be elder than one. Yeah. What charming was he in now? This hair mean. This the Irish yeah, charming, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So Paddy'd be alive all the time? Well, I suppose he is, and then there was Nancy, and then I don't know where she is. Yeah. You don't know where he is living either? Oh, no, I don't no, know. No. What would he be to you then, first cousin, is it? He would not. He'd but be first cousin of Jackie here. Oh, yeah. Grace, Is Jack nearer to them than what you were? Well, if I wouldn't, he's the same O'Hara's. Yeah. You and Jimmy different. Oh, yeah, you were a different O'Hara's. Oh, I thought, I thought you were the one O'Hara's. No. Well, w the old people was the one brothers. Do you know how I Yeah, do? yeah, yeah. With Jackie here and Paddy. To the Calicanese Road. And, uh, down here, this depression. That's where the two-story house O'Hara's was down here. It has been leveled to the ground and parts of it sold to different people. The melt is down there. And down there in the depression between the two hills, the site of your hair is of Carcanes. the boundary wall now for the north and the west end of what was Baden Hill. Ends up here, beneath the river. Across the river there is Cam, and here the river going down. This is the boundary on the south end of the river. And there's the site of Calcanas Castle. And then Farrell's house in the background. Very nice away down here. This is the cattle over here. And up here. It looks narrow now, but it may have been wider in the 15th century. There's a legend that belongs to cattle. It might be this town, or it might be the town in Madonna. The evidence in both cases is not conclusive. Now, the legend is the line of family, according to H.T. Knox, were owners of half of the castle and lands of town. The other half was owned by Carews after the 14th century. There was a row between the Barrett's and the Bucks from 1452 until 1584. It was during uh, this row, or this war, that this event took place either here or in the Dunlop. It took place near Cabin Castle. Well, we haven't so far been able to find Cabin Castle here. There was a Cabin Castle in the Dunlop, but in the stepping stones were missing. So, there are anomalies in both cases. The Linus murdered uh, Barrett Stewart, who came to collect the rent, and threw his body into a well near Cabin Castle. He was nicknamed Stormer, 
The Baalists defeated the Langs and penalised them by giving them the choice of emasculation or blindness. The Langs chose blindness. Needles were thrust into their eyes and they were made blind. To test them, they were ordered to cross Clahan Minal near Cadden Castle. These were stepping stones on the river. Any one of the Langs that succeeded in crossing the stones had his eyes gone again and uh, utterly failed to make the stepping stones. So now, this river may have been wider. And you see some big rocks here on the back that may have been used as, as uh, stepping stones. Again, it's pure speculation what it could have happened. The fuel didn't end there. The alliance then aligned themselves with the box. They took Tibbet the Bob, Tibbet the Moil, or Tibbet the Ball, he was called, as a foster son. And the Barretts later on assassinated him. And then the Barretts had to pay an Eric, which was a fine, to the Linus to settle the matter peacefully. The Barretts had to give up 18 quarters of land that amounted to 5,000 acres. The tracts of land were chosen by the Linus. They chose tracts so that the Barretts were completely surrounded by the box. One of the areas chosen was the lake, which is castle, and 1,000 acres. That is how the box overcame the Barretts in 1584. And uh, Cromwell took it away from all of them in 1652. Now it's interesting to know that this Perkinash castle up here was a buck castle. So it is an enigma, an enigma whether it happened either here or in uh, Mizona. So there was no Hogan Street being? Not that I had to know. Yeah. Was it oh, Hogan take the time now? Uh, Sean. Hogan wasn't the first uh, resident that was there. He, he was Murphy that was in it before him. Yeah. Unless they had it. Yeah. And that uh, Sheebin was in. Maybe. maybe. But there was a Sheebin below it's your own country. Along uh, the road. Oh, there was many Sheebins down there. There was one up there uh, near the crossroads at Lacking Cross. But that's in another town land altogether. Yes. Well, but Hogan that I heard he was in our uh, next RAC uh, sales. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent man. Yeah. I remember him, I seen him. He lived down here at the corner of the road somewhere. He lived opposite Captain McCandler at our yeah. house, just yeah. right opposite yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Captain yeah. McCandler has some moose land on this side, and down the Cahara has the rest of it on the east side of the boat. Yeah, yeah. Was Paddy Langham that the Morris still had a house yes, with? Yes, well, it was the Paddy Langham that bought the slates and the timber offer. Yeah. And the yeah. Morris did it. used to be dancers down there too, wasn't it? There used to be dancers there in the loft coming out to the road. Yeah. It was a granary, as they used to call it, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Out to the road there. Who was holding? Was it there, James, right? James O'Hare himself. Oh, James himself. James Care James. plays and... Uh, no, pay your, pay your money at the door. Oh, yeah, he had a right ballroom in it, had he? A right ballroom. Oh, yes. He was proprietor for himself and in the sea and everything. <laughs> 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 they hadn't had a vacation like they have today, had they? Ah, not at all. There was some fellow around about the place. You were never at them, were you? I was never at them myself, <laughs> Both sides of the road here is Caracanese. 